what do you think the new for people who don't smoke cigarettes? What's that kind of ritual you can have after sex? Yeah, it's probably vape. Well, I mean, even no vape, no cigarettes. What would it be? Oh, would it be inappropriate to bust out a box of milk duds and eat a couple milk duds after you make love? No, nah, I think that's pretty like. Can you imagine that the heart? Yeah, the heart. Yeah, be milk and cookies for me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna eat then, milk and cookies after this. Then show. that uh, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Just a couple dips in there. <laughs> God damn, you made me... I did some stuff tonight I didn't think I'd ever do. Yeah. <laughs> Without washing my hands. Yeah, shit. Oh, you, drop, you drop it in the milk, too, so you're like Ooh. digging through them. God damn it. Um, <laughs> exactly. Fuck. Anyway, you're like wiping on the covers and shit. Anyways, yeah. Bingo. My name is Stretch. This is the last time you mess with Stretch. And fade. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a very special live in-person episode of Stretch and Fade. We're here in motherfucking Kansas City. I got spots in my vision. But that's not going to hold us Risky back. Risky business. Risky business. That's why. Yeah. You do look like a child, though. I know. On. I know. Is those, are those the regular sunglasses that you use? Yeah. Mm. Baby mode. They kind of look like the uh, like the IMAX 3D glasses that you throw away afterwards. <laughs> yeah. How much you pay for those? Uh, too much, man. I think probably 200 bucks. Can you see them? Yep. Oh, nice. That's a nice tortoise shell kind of deal. Is this tortoise shell? I don't know. I imagine everything that's fancy is tortoise shell. It's, is this a tortoise? Did, did a turtle die for this? Yeah, everything special is made out of like exotic animals. No, dude, that's actually um, pangolin feet. <laughs> yeah, this is pangolin feet. Yeah. Pangolin fe- feet, uh, tortoise shell, and uh, human skin for the nose bridge. Yeah, just a nice mixture. There's actually, you know, um, the plastic comes from this company in India, and they actually just push children into the vat. So yeah, just more cost effective. Also, there's yeah. horrible, horrible overpopulation. Over yeah, there. yeah. So they just got figure. kids to spare. Yeah, that's so that's designer man. Pangolin feet, children of you know other countries and uh, tortoise shell. But anyway, man, you were telling me a fantastic story about this venue. We're here in lovely Kansas City at the Uptown Theater. A mm, couple fun facts about the Uptown Theater. Uh, this shit used to be a smell-o-vision theater. So there's there's holes. I'll tell you what the smell of vision is the fucking odor that's coming from between my legs. I'm eyeballing those baby wipes. The cotton. I might have to excuse myself. I don't know. Can you smell that? No, no, no. You're fine. <sighs> How about you, Cash? Can you smell that? You're telling me. I dude. feel like he was giving me a couple. He was giving me a bit of a look. He's like, "What's up, man?" He did that. No, 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 no. Did he do a little bit? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Damn, it's you're permanently like your smells are kind of like how people feel when they're high, huh? You know, like. I don't know what that means. Like they can tell. Oh, maybe. I just I I don't think it's like if anybody. I'm. It's just potent. It's in the air. I can't smell it. It's like a like a bad banana. You were I just you were explaining to me as a big guy. You just moisture all over the place. Yeah, yeah. It's always damp. Yeah. I'll just. It's like a thing too, where it's like uh, you take such a hot shower, you come out, and you're sweating. Uh huh. So that kind of thing is just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't wear. I've been trying. I've been looking into different. Uh, well, I don't want to derail the. Yeah, smell of vision. The smell of vision thing. But yeah. I just say I've been looking into other uh, boxer briefs or underwear. Alternative protection. Because right now I do like the Amazon, like Hanes. Yeah. From Amazon. Oh come on, man. And that is not. I feel like that's just that's yeah. causing the problem. Yeah, maybe. dude, you're on fuck. You're on fucking like ten count thread. It is. It's like ten count red. I was looking into Fruit of the Loom, and then my my wife made fun of me. I thought that Fruit of the Loom was fancy. Is it not? No, man. No. Get you some Lulu lemons. Remember, remember, remember those? <laughs> Lulu, Lulu Loom's not I, fancy. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yes. I, I thought that was for like pregnant women. What's nah, I thought is that dude. not a? Is, I thought that I, was. I changed before. some dude's life recently. I've been really? promoting the Lulu boxers. Some guy messaged me. He said oh, I thought so it was cap. You, you got ulterior motives. No, no, no. Oh, so you would actually? No, I wear them. That's all I wear. They're silky. It's like seven hundred count, dude. You're walking around with fucking like baking it, sheets. No, on your it, ass, it's dude. it's it's literally like cookie <laughs> sheets walking around. I sit down. It's like it, it sounds like Christmas wrapping, like crunching up. I'm like Hanes. <laughs> See, I always thought Fruit of the Loom was fancy because the commercial spider webs for underwear. <laughs> yeah, it's Charlotte's Web underneath my fucking 
<laughs> underneath my pants all the time. I call my cock and balls Wilbert, or yeah. whatever the fuck the pig's name is from that fucking deal. <laughs> but no, uh, yes, we're at Uptown Theater. Sorry. Yeah, no. It's, it's and a it's, Smell-O-Vision. It used to be a Smell-O-Vision Theater. I'm just saying this because, so there's a bunch of holes beneath the top balcony, and they said that there's a there's a pipe, or there's a snake that they feed all the cables through to the front of the house, mm. but they said feasibly you could pump some smells through there. So just before you got here, I was thinking, like, how many farts would it take to get it through? I mean, probably like an obscene amount, right? I was actually thinking something much more devious, and I'm glad that you went the fart route. Oh, like diarrhea? No, no, no. I thought that what you were going to do was put some kind of burnt toast smell in there and to think that I was having a heart attack. Oh, that's good, too. Or that I was having, having a stroke, because yeah. I've, I've, I'm very paranoid about that. Are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, extremely. So, like, anytime somebody's... Um, you, cause you, you ever have that fear, that stroke moment, where you yeah. sit there and you're like, why do I smell pennies all Dude, of a sudden? I, I had a, yeah, I had a pinch... I've had that, but I've had a pinched nerve... Or I had a pinched nerve for like years, and my arm would randomly get numb. So if I just drank even anything with a little bit of caffeine, and my arm started acting up, like yeah, the theater, I would just fucking, I would think I was gonna die. Yeah, I had a panic attack while I was driving the other day. From yeah, that. and it was just because I didn't eat anything all day, and then I had like fucking four cups of coffee, fucking yeah, like Red Bull, and Gamer Subs or whatever. <laughs> Which actually, it's pretty funny because the Gamer Subs thing, if you use uh, promo code Me Canada, check it out. Twenty percent thing. It's, it's no big deal. It's just like, it's an awesome. That's crazy. Check, you said twenty percent. Yeah, twenty percent off a waifu cup and some samples. It's I'm. You know, whatever. That's, That's just really weird. Organic plug. And that, that all just happens it, if you punch in me. It just me can't at the checkout deal. But I was driving and I was like, la, 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 like just singing my songs, yeah. having a good time. And then it was just like a wave of dread. Yeah. Like I was just like, <gasps> and I, like, I couldn't catch my breath. I was sitting there and I'm like, this is it. This is where I die. Bitch, I need, I'm going to make you work out. You know, my wife told me the other day. What'd she say? She said, you should look into getting that CPAP machine. She's and I said, out. and I said, you know what, dude? And I said, and I, you know, I said, and you know, it's funny. I said, you should introduce yourself to that fucking door, and you should leave. Wow, that's what I said. And what'd she say? All right. <laughs> yeah, she said. <laughs> yeah. She's she's very happy now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. So there's she left, and I haven't seen her since. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's been a very uh, quiet household. Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, well, there's been some there's been some signs of the universe. They're saying maybe the CPAP machine's probably yeah, bro. Up. Yeah, I'm, here's a sign right here. Me telling you get. I a can't even look at you with these glasses on. Take the fucking. Get a fucking on. CPAP machine. See, I like that more. Okay, those eyes. So it's we hard can, to. That's good stuff. We can gaze into each other. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, are, do you want to talk about the new place? Can you talk about the new place? Well, we could. Well, I was going to say just to keep it on the track of uh, Uptown real quick. I just want to oh, talk yeah. to people. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How do I? I was, yeah, I was awesome. young. I was a young man. Some people might even say a boy. I was a boy coming here, and I saw. Uh, a, a nice little band that you might have heard of, Mudvane. Educate the folks on Mudvane, because I bet you there's a few who are going, Mudvane? Look at, if, you, if you look up Mudvane on YouTube, you'll know exactly the music video. Their song, Dig, that was big back in the day. Mudvane? You just talking about my asshole? Mudvane? Oh, come on. Yes, sorry. That wasn't very good. I that's, that's, I, we better not be hearing that kind of stuff tonight. Oh, that's the whole oh, set, Oh, this actually. is going to be me in the audience. Boo! Yeah. I'm bored. I'm yeah. one of those things. Yeah. Oh God, move it along. Yeah. Oh, that's what everyone in St. Louis was thinking last night when I did ten minutes of tornado stuff. Come on in. You're all good. <laughs> ten minutes of tornado stuff. I'm, did the hey? Did the tornado stuff kill? Uh, no, but it blew the roof off. I like all this. All all this stuff I enjoy. Yeah, that's good stuff. You ever been in a tornado? No, but or I, been around a tornado? No, but that's what I told them last night. Is we kept reading about tornadoes in Missouri. And uh, we're gonna finish this Mudvayne story. We will, but more of the story for the Mudvayne thing because it's not gonna have a huge payoff. That's true. Whatever. Yeah. So the whole thing is, I'm a young man. I haven't seen pussy or boobs, butthole, anything like that. <laughs> and a girl, this big old white trash girl, was up on her boyfriend's shoulders, little twinkie guy that had anybody but Gordon shirt on. Mm. Right, big NASCAR guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She pops out her tits, and I'm like, oh my god. And then she crab walks around her, his shoulders to where the front of her her pussy's in, her, in his face, the big bush or whatever. And he's like, get it! That kind of thing. And her, her shins are on his shoulders like that. And she shows the back of that fucking clam burger and her, in that, yeah. you know, that little Wookiee eye. Yeah. Winking at the lead singer yeah. of the band during, yeah. during the dig song. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. And my dad came up and he's like, you having a good time? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. That's what I did. It's nice. That's awesome. What's up? Hey. Um, hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Now, in a given week, let's weigh the time I spend on myself versus others. For others, I'd probably say I spend 16 hours a day. And on myself, I spend 8 hours a day. 
Uh, but for those eight hours, my eyes are closed. So it's easy to get caught up in what other people want from me. And, but I never take a moment to think about what I need from myself, you know? And when we spend all our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched, thin, and maybe faded out. Uh, therapy, though, can be a tool that uh, helps you find more balance in life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Therapy isn't just for those who have experienced major traumas. Everyone can benefit from it. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills, how to set boundaries, and it empowers you to be the best version of yourself. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, you can give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime at no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. You can visit betterhelp.com slash stretch today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash stretch. Anyways, yeah. Uh, no, I haven't seen a tornado, so I, I looked one up yesterday, and I was telling them the tornado was funny to me because all the videos, <laughs> it was just people maybe like 100 feet out from it. Like you, can, you can stand within a good distance of a tornado, and you just watch it tear some shit up. That's not true. Yeah. What, 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 what tornado footage you want? Usually, tornado footage, it's like people are miles away looking at it. Maybe Okay, 100 feet, I'm, I'm exaggerating. The, I mean, that's ridiculous. 100 the, feet. The think, think about, literally think about 100 feet. It seemed that way in the video I watched. It okay, so that. you're you say uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm from L.A., man. <laughs> okay, well then you don't have to bring that in. Yeah, you didn't have to bring that in. You're, yeah, I'm you're, from the sun. I'm from the Sunshine City. Is that what LA, L.A. is not the Sunshine? What it's not? City of Angels. That's what it is. Yeah. What's the Sunshine State? Is that Florida? That seems odd too, doesn't it? That's fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm from the place that never has any real weather, so my perception of things is completely off. Missouri, it's it's a lot of tornadoes, a lot of twisters. Yeah, and so uh, that that's another thing I asked the crowd. I said, "Do you, do you name them?" They said, "No, there's too many." Yeah, and I thought that was kind of interesting. There's a lot of them, and it happens out of nowhere. Just pull it on out, baby. Just rip it out. That's the holy grail right there. Yeah. But the uh, <laughs> hunter's gonna be feral the rest of this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, when the kids see these cookies, my mom, my mom, it's just a bottle of Jack behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, but the uh, there was a horrible tornado down in Joplin, Missouri. That's like probably three hours from here, mm. South Missouri. What year? This had probably been twenty ten, maybe okay, twenty ten, something like that. And it was horrible. I mean, tor. I mean, you're, you're, I'm a kid, right? yeah. So I I can't actually process what it means for people to lose their homes, of their lives. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, come yeah. on. Ooh, sucks to suck. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. We got a horrible storm. The storm moved its way up north to my school. Yeah, and everybody just was just screaming in the hallways. Joplin's wrath has come for us. Whatever. And the religious teacher in school. It was this biochemistry teacher that that was super religious. He took he. He had a uh, Christian club after school. Nice. He got caught diddling some kids. I was about to say. Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there just to because it's it's in there. It doesn't. Yeah, matter. yeah, yeah. But he sat there and he was he had this giant fucking scepter with a, a golden Jesus on top of it, and he was out in the storm of it, and he was just like screaming at the storm, stabbed in the ground. He was just like, oh, like that. I wish it just took him up, just snatched him. I, everybody up. thought said the yeah. exact same thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. can you just, can you just, just imagine? Yeah, you're like, oh, thank God. Oh! Yeah. It wasn't actually a twist. It was just a horrible storm. It took out the power and stuff. It was just kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking like, just how fucking you get some new sports car or a new jet ski, and you're so hyped, and then just goodbye, bye. And then you're just driving, crying around the state, being like, oh, maybe it landed. You know, just like looking. The oh, yeah, looking around. Yeah. Where'd it go? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the crazy part about a twister is that that shit lands somewhere. Like, if it doesn't get shredded up. Well, that's the worst part is whenever it's like, get, imagine just having something nice and then all that shit that gets dumped into your yard. Yeah. I guess that's probably not the worst thing that can happen is the cleanup. That's that in my mind. That's always the worst part of the situation. Think of the cleanup. Yeah. Think about how long that's gonna take. Yeah. I would rather my grandma just get fucking sucked up. That's a. I'd rather go to a funeral than have to do the cleanup. That's fair. That's a. That's a real. That's a real thing I want to put out there. If my grandma's listening to this, that's just where we stand. Well, that's the other. Um other part of it is you look at what the tornado does to some of these homes. It takes like three quarters of the home. Oh, it's fucking stupid. It's just, just take take all of it. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's just so so depressing. <laughs> it is fucking depressing. You're just like, like well, we got we got the master bathroom still. <laughs> well, especially it's, it's like yeah, and then like and then if you did get all that insurance money, right? And then you redid the house. Now you have a nice new house, but you have a shitty master bathroom yeah. still. Yeah. Just take the whole fucking house and let me restart. Yeah. Because people will do that. People will just be like, oh, we'll just add on to it. It's like, no, just destroy. Well, it's just the last remnant piece of what we used to no. have. Fuck that, dude. Especially, that's the worst. I, I love Kansas City. I like Missouri a lot. We have the worst looking homes ever. Is it because you think it's not worth building something super custom? I think that might be it. Tore up. Also, I think that everybody's just like, I think the more, it's interesting, the more rural you get, the less you care about your home and just more of the utility of yeah. things. So then you go into like, I've been to so many like like a farmer's house and it's just, you're like, how do you live like this? Yeah. Well, we got direct TV, but I mostly, <laughs> and they have like state-of-the-art equipment, yep. everything. Yeah. But then they fucking sleep on like, yeah, my gran- this is my grandpa's bed. Yeah. It's that kind of deal. It's fucking obnoxious. Yeah, I, I wonder if they're just... After you get all that cool shit, it just doesn't even matter. I think it's just, yeah. You get ATVs, you got all these crazy, like, farm tools. You got a giant tractor. Yeah, all just kinds of slick shit. That's probably what your dick gets hard over is the yeah. tractor stuff, I imagine. The the home is just somewhere to shit and sleep. Does the, the shit eat, maybe not even eat. Yeah. Fucking fuck. Yep. And Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like it's a shack. It's very barbaric. You know what I thought about doing was buying a fat-ass land parcel and then just buying a an Airstream and then just only building like a like a toilet and a big utility gr- like garage thing, but like not actually worrying about like building a home on it. Yeah. I thought that'd be sick. Just as like an escape? Yeah. Just fly out and you just come and... Yeah. What would be on the... What, so what would you put out there? Would it be like a track or something? I put some shitty ATVs out there. I probably put some like film gear out there, you know, just so I could. Yeah, shit. I mean, there's you know everybody. I think everybody just needs to have. I don't care who you are. I think you just need to have a little bit, just a little plot of land. Yeah, just a little something, a little space. Even if it's just something where you just go out there and just get, just do something. I'm not gonna say I promote illegal activity, but if you if you were to, yep. If you were a guy and you were butchering women, yeah, you got you should have a plot of land. (laughs) You know, so they can dig it up later. Yeah, well, Wait, and that's well, that's also fun for the story later on. Uh, dude, for, who opened for me a few nights ago, Alex Price, he was telling us about some guy in Indiana who they were, it was like one of those cold cases, but they started developing on his land and they just keep finding bones. Yeah. Um, that's kind of fun. Yeah, and uh, he was doing the similar thing to Dahmer. He was just targeting like gay men. In I think like the 80s or 90s. I don't know why, but as soon as you said that, I just pictured that you would be you would target gay men. Me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you motherfucker! Why? You got a, you saying I got a twink build? No, no, no. I'm saying that you you calling me a sexy ass twink right now? I you could be. I'm thinking that I don't know the motive. I just know the target. Right. That's what I'm saying. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, My Bookie. MLB is finally back in full swing. You get that? That's a baseball reference for the bat as it swings over the plate. Either way, my bookie is going to be your one-stop shop for all your betting needs. Lock in futures on your favorite club to win the World Series or take advantage of boosted odds via the my bookie money bag. My bookie makes it simple for you to sign up and play. You bet, you win, and they pay. Whether you're a diehard or a casual fan, simply put, there's never been a better time to start exploring the world of online sports betting with my bookie. Sign up today at my bookie and use promo code STRETCH to secure a first deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars it's simple deposit two hundred dollars and play with three hundred dollars instantly just use promo code stretch to claim your bonus bet anything anytime anywhere with my bookie i don't know i don't know why you do the things you do i just know that you little gay boys out there you better watch out (laughs) i look at the way that you look at them and i'm like that motherfucker is straight evil me yeah when have you ever seen me look at a gay man a lot right now uh, no, 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 no. And if I was a gay man, you know, I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be a clean gay man. I'd be a fucking swampy, just. I mean, a, a real roll in the mud fucking gay guy. I mean, you were telling me the other day you're thinking about switch hitting. I, you sw- you have to you have to spice it up. I'm just saying. I, you know what? I would never say never. Who said yeah. that? Wasn't that Bieber? Bieber. I bet he's probably sucked a cock or gotten <laughs> <before>. <laughs> maybe. 
I imagine that's like some Socrates shit. That's like live, you know, spe- say say what you mean, mean what you say, yeah, kind of thing. I'm just saying that you would target who who would I target then if I was if you were a serial if I was killer? a serial killer because I I'm like the more I talk about it, the more I am positive that you would. Do you hate gay people? No. Okay. I just I had like a vision, like just a, a flash in my mind, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, this guy, I don't know what. I, yeah, I was blinded for a second. Who would I? Who do you think I would target? I think you would target um, um, loud women in restaurants. Absolutely. Yeah, I think. Absolutely. I think. Yeah, I think you'd be chowing down. Just... I wouldn't even. I'm not even gonna try. I, I, was, I, was, I was thinking of ways <laughs> where I could skirt around it and try to make it come back to you, but I can't even deny that accusation. That's just some real shit, dude. Just a big, just a big burly woman who's like. Especially like when they're joking around and they're trying to make jokes out <laughs> yeah, of it. You know when women are smiling and shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> women can be happy. I'm talking about whenever she's sitting there and you're at like Red Robin, and she's just like, "Okay, I guess I'll take another bottomless fry." And she like looks around. That's me. <laughs> That's all it would take. For That's you. all it would take. That's all it takes. And it would be, I, I, I would be, I'd be the fucking ball pin hammer killer. <laughs> And I'd carry that little son of a bitch right in my sleeve. I'd ca- I'd only wear big jackets. Oh, Pop. Yeah. She's Ball sitting there. She's like, all right, fine. You twisted my arm. Where's the dessert menu? Oh. Yank. And then I'd start to do, I'd probably have like a weird relationship with my hammer. Yeah. Talk to it. Thinking that's talking back to me. I know. I know. It'd be creepy as shit. Yeah. But that's, that's the kind of killer I'd like to be. I don't know if I would be that, but that would be. I would accept that victim is what sure. I'm saying. What what context do you think you could actually kill somebody? Actually? Like, actually, like, have to, mur- like, kill someone. You know, people like to say that in self-defense situations or if that somebody was coming out. I don't think most people could. I wouldn't. Yeah. I've asked myself, my, me and my wife got in a, you know, a legitimate fight about this the other day. She's like, well, you would kill somebody if someone was attacking me. I said, no. Not, yeah, not murder. Let, think about this. It's late at night. I'm in the... I'm going to picture I'm at your house. Okay. I own your house now. Yeah. So you guys don't live there. I That's live fine. there. That's fine. Me and Alice are sitting there. I'm in the kitchen getting a Capri Sun. Somebody sneaks into the fucking master suite strangling my wife. I'm startled. I run in. I'm like, <gasps> and I see the guy. And he's like, <laughs> whatever. I'm gone. <laughs> I don't even, there's not even, there's not even an attempt. If not I'm being honest, attempt? not if I'm being honest with myself, there is no ounce of heroic. There's there's nothing noble. My my base reaction is, and I run. That's I'm crazy. gone. Now, what would I actually do? If I found if I my fantasy, this is my fan because I I think about this a lot. Somebody cuts you off in traffic. Yeah. You sit there and you're like, you know what? You just have to get a little something else. You fucking honk your horn. Maybe you flip them off or something. But then they give you the bird back. And you're like, what the fuck? And then at a stoplight, whatever, the guy's sitting there. He like looks in the mirror mirror. He's like, whatever. That's whenever I follow them. I follow, I follow them to their home. And I murder their whole family in front yeah. of them. Yeah. And I do those mannerisms back to them. Whatever. His son is sitting there. Dad, 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 please, dad, he's fine. I sit there and I just fucking... Face in the toilet yeah. that I shit in. Yeah. It stinks. It's about to... yeah. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. It'd be over some petty shit. I would that that's the only time that I ever think that I could because and the reason I say that is that the only reason I think that I could ever kill somebody is because I snapped at something. Yeah. And I think it would be one of those petty things. Yeah. Not because of self defense situation. <laughs> you think I'm gonna No. My wife, no, no, no. No. That's crazy. Would you kill somebody if somebody was attacking Alina? Would you kill them? Um, I don't know if I could kill them, but I think I'd have enough rage to harm them, like as much as I could. I'd probably do some like fucked up shit. I think. I think I've like excessive like mace in the eyes. Let me then... throw. Let me throw a situation at you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You live in your house again. Yep. I don't own your house. Okay, now. I'm back in my house. You've given it back to me. Yeah. Same kind of situation. You have, you're in this kitchen getting a Capri Sun. Mm-hmm. Somebody breaks into the, your room. Mm-hmm. They're strangling Alina mm-hmm. while she's sleeping. Yep. You go around the corner to see who it is, and it's a small gay man killing her. What would you do? 
what I would do to protect my wife as a small gay man. Nothing. Be uh, you wouldn't do anything. I would. I would do something. What was that? She wouldn't need protection from a little guy. Yeah. Well, here's what I would. Let's do. say. Let's say it's even a big burly man. No, no. no. Let's go to small gay man. Okay. Small gay man strangling my I wife. Can hear me get you. You know what I'd do? You're going to sleep forever. So he says to her. I'd run right up behind him, pull his pants down, and start eating his ass. Even in a joking way, I just feel uncomfortable with that. Why? I don't know. It just like it just put a sour taste in my mouth. It's Did homophobic it? of you. <laughs> I'm just trying to be I'm trying to be transparent. I don't I'm you, not saying that's not it's not you can keep elaborating. I just that was my that was my initial reaction. I know it's gonna be clean down there. You think that a gay man's asshole would be more clean than another person's asshole? Yes, yeah, maintained. Hmm. That's the you think bus. So too? That's the bus. That is the bus. They keep that. I just think it's impossible for men. Nah, bro, that'd be like licking the back of an orange. Tangerine. Yep. A little scratch and sniff situation. His hands would come clean off my wife. He'd be like, "Oh," and then I'd stab him. You're my hero. <laughs> You're my hero. That's Lena in the bed. You're my hero. <laughs> I got you, baby. <laughs> just goes way too long. I mean, that guy just started making out. <laughs> just making love to each other. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him in a second. I'm she's gonna still, kill him she's in a like, second. You're, you're my hero. You're my hero. No, I'm gonna get. Just hold on. Just hold on. Hero. This is part of the self defense. Just process. leave. Get the hell out of the house. I'm self defending us. Get out. <laughs> this is what self. This is what self defense looks like. Comes back in an hour, just smoking cigarettes in the bed. <sighs> yeah. What do you think the new for people who don't smoke cigarettes? What's that kind of ritual you can have after sex? Yeah. It's probably vape. Well, I mean, even no vape, no cigarettes, what would it be? Oh. Would it be inappropriate to bust out a box of milk duds and eat a couple of milk duds after you make love? No, nah, I think that's pretty like... Can you imagine that? Har- yeah. The har- it'd, be, it'd be milk and cookies for me. <laughs> How many Damn. milk and cookies after this Damn, show? Damn, that, uh, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Just a couple of dips in there. <laughs> God damn, you made me... I did some stuff tonight yeah. I didn't think I'd ever do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without washing my hands. Yeah, shit. Oh, fuck. You drop, you drop it in the milk too. So you're like digging through them. God damn it. Um, <laughs> exactly. Fuck. Anyway, you're like wiping on the covers and shit. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna want to get it tested immediately. <laughs> yeah, I always thought it'd be funny if you busted out some like like tootsie rolls or milk, to- like a candy that's very hard to eat. Yeah, that would be funny. A Jolly me. Rancher. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, these everlasting cop stoppers really do last a while, don't they? <laughs> Now, you know, I just got my brain going on like tough ass shit to eat. Wings? Yeah. yeah, yeah just a, full, <laughs> a full thing of wings with the celery stalks too and shit. Ranch or blue cheese? Pick your poison. <laughs> She's like, the, what the hell are you doing? The, uh, what would be the, this is another thing I was wondering the other day. What would be the, what would be the weirdest thing to put on after, uh, after sex? Put on like clothing wise? No, no, no. Like, or sorry, I should have elaborated. Like a show or like. A oh, movie. I, I had, I had a weird thought pattern the other day after I sat there and I was talking to you because you, you said you hadn't heard of that art on TikTok I was talking about. Yeah, where girls were talking about it's the grossest shit. Did he talk to you about this? I've seen it all. Yeah, okay. He's seen it. Holy shit! It's always some like weird woman. She's sitting there and she's like, she's like, I just got Derek the craziest thing, and it shows her with like fucking industrial paint that she got from Sherman Williams they used to paint a house yeah and she's like I'm gonna dip this down and then she like it basically insinuates that she sits on it yeah or whatever they put their tits in it whatever <laughs> and you look at that silhouette and it's like the fucking most nightmarish Rorschach painting you've ever seen in your fucking yeah. life literally yeah. it looks like like uh, the silhouette of those fucking uh, those flowers from Mario that try to eat you yep it look, that's what the fucking pussy thing looks like just like that it wasn't even that clean no, they never are. But see, that's what makes it more intimidating is that it's- It's just like, like some boogers open. She's up. like, what do you see? Yeah. The guy's like- <gasps> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't- uh, My nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. And it's like, is that a gift? If I'm thinking about even if my wife gave me that as a gift, I'd be like, fucking throw that away. Yeah, but the male ones are hilarious. <laughs> I haven't seen enough of the male ones to- Oh, uh, bro, I saw a male my, one. My, my balls are too big and my cock is too small that it would be kind of funny. Yeah. Like, just that, that as a weird, like, thing. It's a date night activity. Yeah. Oh, that that's right. That's that's right. It's like a fuck. Which also, what kind, how fuck much of a fucking loser do you have to be to be like, we should dip our pussy buttholes and balls and in paint and paint. Yeah. And hang it up. Yeah. yeah no, that's lame. Sir, so get 
It'd be so weird. Not, I, hate that, I, hate, kid, well, I, I hate that you did that because now I'm picturing you and Alina doing it and it's just fucking me up. Yeah. And that sterile ass house you have. Because it's sexy? No. If you sexy because, because, because you're just it. Because knowing you, you have like fucking some kind of weird, you're on the spectrum in a way. Yep. So you're sitting there and you'd be like, I don't think I got a good angle. Yep. So you do it like several times. Yeah. And you'd hang him up and you'd be like, Yep. Look like one of those scenes in a movie where it's like uh, those photo processing rooms in movies. <laughs> yep. You're sitting there and you're like sitting in the room, like the red light or whatever, and you're like, uh, which one? You you get the vein on this one. <laughs> She's just bit. naked in the bed. It was just supposed to be a warm up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to do it again. Let me do this until I get it right. <laughs> until I get it right. Yeah, the, no, dog, I saw, the, I, the dog's just licking the paint off the floor. I saw an art installation of a guy doing one of those. Um, but he was like ripped as hell, had a huge dick, and it was a room of just ten people. And his whole whole front was covered in paint. And the way he was just like stamping himself on it was like the canvas was on the ground and like the wall like just the ground or the walls. It was just the ground. Okay. But he was like covered in paint. And then when it's just like laying down. Yeah, yeah. He was doing it in some performative way, and then when it came down to like stamp his dick that man had practice. Oh yeah, it was just fucking whoop, like clean, just whoop, off the page, and you went you, you wow. Know, you know he definitely looked at the crowd too after that too. Oh yeah, yeah. Pop yeah. down, he was just like, yeah. <laughs> Look at that one person. They're like, me. How big? Oh uh, no, nah, man. How big of a dick are we talking? Oh, about? bro, this is like like a Harry's bottle of, of body damn. wash. Like the kid was thick. Jesus. By the t- so as he was performing. People were kind of actually like in and out of the room. I think by the end, it was just gay men and wim- and straight women just fucking like, damn, I got to see the boy. When he whipped it out, you, you saw a few straight guys leave like, I can't. Mm. <laughs> this is this is humiliating. What was his, do you remember his name? Nah. But I tell you, if you show me a lineup of painted dicks, <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you know that's exactly. the man right there. Right there, officer. <laughs> Number six. Number six. <laughs> He'd be standing in the fucking number line. six. Could you step forward, please? He's like, damn it. Do you think yeah. that anybody's ever had to? Surely that's had to have been a case in the in the in law. What? Identify somebody's just yeah yeah like a, a lineup of people. Yeah. How do you get the lineup of people though? The bulge in your pants is very suspicious. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. What's a what's a situation where you need to identify a penis? A flasher. Oh. A flasher with a mask. Yeah. That's easy. Well, I guess with the flash or the mask, you could just look for the body type and then be like, do any of these penises ring a bell? Mm-hmm. But I mean, we, I want to take it back to like who's volunteering to be in the lineup. I guess you well, would I don't, I don't think it's all can, suspects. Yeah, well, I don't think you can even volunteer. I think that you, you would, they'd like, you are coming in. You are a suspect. Yeah. So you'd have to show your cock. I mean, could be just local security footage. Yeah, it'd be an easy way to delineate who didn't do it. Guys all bashful and shit. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel comfortable. And the guy's like, "Yeah, I'll get, what time?" I'd be like, "Hmm, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, just, yeah. that's suspicious." Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? yeah, no, I'll be there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what time? <laughs> just, I'm free almost every day. Just too eager in the line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's doing it in here now, or not me? Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely him. Holy shit. I've never known anybody. I I know that there, that's a big thing. Women get flashed a lot. I've never known any woman that's gotten flashed. I don't. Yeah. Alina got a Alina got a crazy DM the other day. I wanted to re- wanted to read it, man. Shit was horny. Oh, actually, this one wasn't that crazy. It was just like, how much for your dirty panties? Ten forty five in the morning, though. That's like a that's you know you know what's kind of insightful about that too is that ten forty five in the morning, that guy has definitely had like a morning cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. He probably couldn't be any more sharp. And he's got a picture with kids as his profile picture. Love it. Yeah. Hey, he dropped the kids off. The at man, school. the man knows what he wants. He's yeah. just trying to ask for a fair price. Yeah, you can decline. I'm just throw it, throw a number. Yeah, I'm a deals kind of guy. Would you? Would you be a person? Would you be the kind of guy that? I feel like I wouldn't mind getting into not OnlyFans. I I wouldn't do OnlyFans stuff if I yeah. was a woman, but I would definitely do panties and all that shit. Oh yeah, I, I wouldn't have the confidence to do OnlyFans, but I would have the confidence to be like I tore these up. Yeah. 375 yeah you that's what you should be doing with your fucking charlotte's with web, these hanes dude. i'm telling yeah. you i'm I, you wouldn't even believe it you know what's weird too is that some of these ones i went through it was embarrassing would it, hold on would it make you sad if you 
unironically started an OnlyFans for your dirty big guy underwear and just started cleaning house so much so that you could quit animation? Oh God. Well, I wouldn't quit animation. I would just be it would if if me putting on underwear and I had to do nothing and I got paid, I absolutely would. I I don't yeah, yeah. Easy. Because I think you could genuinely start that tomorrow, and I think you'd be very successful. E- easy fucking people. Well, I tell you, you know, it was fucking embarrassing, and this is just, I'm, t- yeah, I'm unloading too much of my personal shit onto you, my wife and me, because I told you about a fight we had earlier, and I come, no, no, but that, that I come fight, in, no, I that come in. is just funny. No, 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 That's no, 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 marriage. no, 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 I came in, and on the bed, perfectly folded bed, right? Couldn't have been, I mean, it looked like almost staged. Yeah. It was that clean. On the bed was about seven or eight articles of underwear laid out perfectly, almost like it was, I mean, it was being presented to me. All of them tore to hell, holes all over them. My wife comes in and she's just like, you have 12 pairs of underwear and eight of them are in unusable, whatever. Because I told her lately, I'm like, I'm starting to rash up. She's like, no wonder. Because these fucking, there's, you're basically going commando in these fucking things. And what the weird thing too is I, I'm, I keep ruining my shorts because I put baby powder or gold pond on there to, uh, yeah, yeah. To fucking help with it. Yeah. But there's nothing trapping it. It's just fucking f- flying out. And yeah. It's ruined the fabric of my shorts now and stuff. Tyler, what kind of undies you got? Cheapos. Cheapos? Oh, but you, you yeah. I once Hiroshima to. No, get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Yeah, yeah. We all got to be fitting on the same. Dead middle. Put your crack on the crack. Speak right into this microphone. By the way, everybody, this is Tyler Walsh, comedian. Rolling with me for a few stops here. Former rodeo clown. One of the most interesting guys I've met in my entire life. All right, tell us what you were just about to say. As you can see, I relate to you heavily, uh, being a big man, and I apply a lot this of- This is a sad intro to the deal. <laughs> <laughs> even, just, even just the cadence in which you talk to me, I was like- This is my we cadence. Should, we, should, we should make this- This we is should, me every day. We, we should just make this a bit more cheery. I relate, I, I relate to you <laughs> in a good way, and that's fine. Just the I, I hate I hate the it's just the one extremely tiny man over to the left, and then us just two sitting there. about to get into our crotches. It is, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I I uh, I was going to this fitness gym in the suburbs uh, with like two of the hottest girls, and I was so cool. And I loaded up my pants with gold bond, mm. and then overdid it, and I had compression shorts, and it was popping out. Yeah, and I just clouded out a whole gym. I mean, just there was gasping. literally a trail through that was just white all the way around. And people are like, what's wrong? And there's just poofs, poofs. And I just powdered this bitch all over yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. place. Every step, just a little bit of fumigation. You know where I was coming from. <laughs> yeah, it's like Casper following you through the fucking <laughs> gym there. Just Yeah, I like that. During the tasseling, we always had to carry, I carried cornstarch in a Powerade bottle. I'd be in the cornfield, just pull my, sh- I'd let somebody pull my shorts out. I wouldn't care. It's a battlefield, man. Dump Powerade down my <laughs> cornstarch down my pants and keep going. It's true. So, yeah. So what? Um, at this point, what would you advise? I mean, do you? How many holes do you burn in your underwear? Uh all of them. Yeah, I don't have good underwear. They they rip out all the time. They don't. I, if there's any if there's any underwear you can get on Prime. Those are those do not have those do not those do not last. Okay, yeah, hell yeah. I got scared. I got an STD recently, and I went to the doctor, and because I had bumps like on my, and he takes one look. I had to go to a dermatologist, and he just goes, "You got friction, big man," and that's all I said. I go, "Wait, there's nothing Thank wrong." Thank you, doctor. No, I see. He goes, "No, you just just friction." <laughs> yeah. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for your time. You got friction, big guy. That's five hundred bumps. Hell yeah! All right. I know there's some people. My, I think my dad went to doctor because he. Uh, he apparently, when you're older, mm-hmm. which I'm, this doesn't affect me. Yeah. My cock gets hard. Yeah. Okay. Real hard. Yeah. But apparently, when you're older and your dick doesn't get really hard and you beat off, you can actually like bruise the like arteries in there in your. So when you piss, it really hurts. Oh. Or whatever. And my dad went to the doctor for that, and they're just like, "Yeah, you're just old and your dick doesn't work." Damn. But well, that's cool. I'm not. I, that's not me though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my dick yeah. gets hard. Yeah, but you're. But you need some fucking underwear. I would. I would be in the market if I could. 
I would definitely would. I see everybody wears Calvin Klein. No. Are those overhyped? Yeah. Are they? Why, then why do all the p- cool people wear them? Because they, they get endorsed to take pictures in them, but they don't actually wear them. I've seen some people that definitely aren't endorsed wear them. All right, fair. But I'm saying Lulu's. Yeah, but you're sponsored by them. No, they, I'm not. I'm not. You're preached. You literally no. just said endorsed by the Calvin Klein thing. No. Now you're fucking doing the exact no, same thing to me. I'm not endorsed by Lulu. You guys just said you he, you were. No, 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 I'm not. Oh, you've just been telling people to get them. Yes, so good. yes. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I told you. I changed some guy's life the other day. He he actually messaged me. He said, "When who, you who is he? Uh, oh, fuck, I can't find him. Oh, you know, I mean, just that, I was just like a fan of the podcast. Like, hmm. He said, "I thought you were bullshitting about those Lululemon boxers," and I got myself some. And holy fuck, you weren't lying. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna steal more. Did you ever? Did you ever do? Uh, did you ever get a sponsor for me undies? Yeah. How are those? They're pretty good. I thought I didn't hear that in the back. What 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 did you say? I said yeah. Oh, I thought I could have swore I heard. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. No, they're they're great. Okay. But what I like about the Lulus is they kind of have this like in between cotton and silk feel, but it doesn't feel disgusting. Like you can be sweaty in there, and it doesn't feel like you're ruining. That's it. always the worst. See, especially as a big guy. See, that's a, it's a big guy that you can't wear the nice Under Armour shorts. Yeah. Or anything. It just becomes it's like a fucking like. It's like a wet tarp. That's yeah, tarp. no, no, no. This this material goes right down the middle, so you can be musty, but not feel like you're ruining something. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. If I get a pair of loot, okay, well, here's here's my deal to you. Mm-hmm. I will try it, but if in a month there's a hole in those fucking Lululemons, hey. you're buying them. Yeah, for, that's fair. Also, I was- For uh, $350? And I'll tell you another thing I was pissed off about. <laughs> 350 bucks, yes. yes. Tyler, you don't have to sit here while we do this. Yeah, thing. sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the input. I, the, the 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 uh I I, I messaged uh Noel. <clears throat> what are we even at? For down over to the uh I messaged Noel and I was fucking I was actually upset by your answer. I messaged him and I said if I cuz I know this German painter that does No, no, no. Why don't we play it out loud? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Why don't we play the recording? Yeah, I was driving I was driving home and I sent Noel this because I was like, oh, this would be kind of a funny I, I get, a, it would be a good gift. I could hear your smile. I could hear how big your smile was. I definitely I was very excited by the idea, but I was like, this is like an impossible thing to pass up. Yeah. I thought. Fuck. Oh, I didn't hit keep. Oh, rip. Pretty much all I said was Noel. If you if I commission somebody, I know this great German painter that does like beautiful, almost like Rembrandt. You know who Rembrandt is? Yep. Very beautiful deep blacks, tragically black. Yeah. Right. But I said if I got a painting, a commission, if I took a picture of myself naked, yeah, and I got a beautiful oil painting done of it, I mean like beautiful, yeah. but it's my fucking stretch mark belly. My cock and balls hanging out, my ape tits hanging up here, all that. And it's, but the whole thing was, I give it to you for free, right? It's a gift. Yep. But you'd have to hang it up in your living room for a year, and you declined almost immediately. Yeah. Not, not even like a <laughs> maybe, right? It was just a straight fucking no. I just, I just know it's a no. I just know it's a no. If you came up to me and you said, Hunter, if I, I literally, I got this commission. I thought it was funny, but you got to put, it, I would put that up proudly in my living room. Proudly, and you know what? You have a very average body type. There's nothing that is that makes you stand out. My, I have a very flavorful body. Yeah, you do. Would be, that would be a conversation starter and ender. However, you wanted to use it. It's true. And it's just a flat no. Yeah, it's just it was the requirement for a year part. I thought that a year to me was a solid commitment. Of I know for a fact that when I go to this house. And I could ask other people. I could ask you. I could be like, take a picture of it because I want to know it's still up. And I want to know that for a year it would be up there. Let's call. I could I could go to bed. Let's call Alina. I could go to bed knowing that in the darkness of his living room, the tragedy that was my body is hanging up on the wall. I mean, look. You Noel's know, little you know, his little nephew coming over. Yeah, let's let's see. You could put a house plan over it to censor things if you need, but that's also art. Listen. Would you would you also would you hide a child from uh, the thinker? No. Would you hide a child from oh, other people? Great, she's driving. Hello. Hey, can you hear us? 
Hey, Hunter has a pitch for you. Okay, I'm with my mom. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, Elena's mom. Hi. I have a I I had a proposition for Noel, and this would apparently be for Elena as well. Um, okay. And it's Noel, I, I'll, I'll preface this that Noel made it very clear that the answer was no, but I thought that it was it, I thought it was a bit rash. And I think that it was, he wanted to call you and ask you. So here I am, here I am playing it. I have, I was going to give you all a painting, a big painting. And the proposition was you had to hang it up for, I'd say it's, it, it's four feet long. Okay. It's huge. It's a big painting. I have a beautiful German painter that paints something almost as stylistic of the Rembrandt era of classic Renaissance paintings. Very tasteful. For sure. Very elegant. And the whole thing is that it would be me frontally nude sitting down on a chair. <laughs> All right, but it's it's for but it's it's beautifully done. It's I I cannot stress how beautiful the painting is itself. It would be a I told him it would be a conversation starter and ender. And I, but the only requirement is that you have to put it in your living room for a year, hanging up proudly for a year. And he told me um, immediately, not even, a, I don't even think a, a minute passed. And he said, no. <laughs> so I guess, d d I guess from the, d do you agree with that judgment? And you don't have to. You don't have to not hurt my feelings. You can say no if you want to, but just know that this is a great piece of art. I don't know. You're kind of selling me now. I'm telling you. Think about. Think about. It's not even like a handsome man either. It's a voluptuous, round, curved body. I mean, it. it, it don't, it's like a unicorn. Nobody gets to see this kind of level of detail in a painting that you get to hang up in your house, and you guys get to enjoy it. Yeah. And but the thing for me, the transaction is that I get to know that for a year. Yeah. Your lights will be off in your house, and I know that I'm just there. Is it? What? Is it accurate to what you actually look like? Yes, that yes. That might be a little disturbing. No, he. No, no, no. He it said is, it's going to be accurate to source, so he's going to send. It is a classic. Imagine those beautiful Renaissance paintings that you've seen hanging up in museums. It's going to be that level of quality. My skin will my my skin will be supple and soft. I'll be radiant, glowing, on the on the harshest, coldest black of shadows you've ever seen. It'll make you weep, yeah, I, and it'll make you rejoice. I think the answer is yes. It's a year. A year will fly by. Wow. But do you think, okay, well, let me add, do you think in a universe where the, the after the year that you love it so much that you keep it up? It's possible. Yeah, yeah, I think it may be missed. You kind of sold me, man. See, these what are the things. Think, Mom? I, I guess my question is, will it be worth it to look at it? <laughs> oh, that's, oh, my God. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a question for my wife that I think that she would have to answer. Personally, <laughs> me, yes. It, it depends. Do you like watching Do you like watching car wrecks? Do you like watching tragedies of sorts? What does the human eye really stick to? What is it? I think that yes. I, I would confidently say yes is what I would say. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hash this out. We I appreciate you answering. Thank you for your input. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Have fun. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. I don't know what it is with the women of that family, but first it was you go down in a hole to eat some pussy, and she considers it like eating a meal, and then now this one that that answer. It's two beautiful answers. It really is. You actually sold me, man. I d there is no downside. The only downside is the is the the funny thought in my mind that you guys are going to be making a breakfast one day and you, you could be having a you could be having a yelling match in your house and there in the back yeah, yeah, the is just me like I make I have him paint my cheeks really flush too and I'm like yeah 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 you know what it, you know what it is yeah that, that, that painting's tearing us apart that kind of thing yeah you know what I think threw me off when I said no. Huh. Is because uh, I didn't really like quite latch on to the Renaissance part. It would be, yeah, no, it's not, no, 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 yeah, it would be. I think that's the part that that where I was like, hey, you're just naked, like, nah.
Yeah, I know. If it was a photograph, you know, what's the point? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But a nice style. I mean, it's going to be photorealistic in a way, but it has that sty- it has that stylistic Renaissance flair. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. Imagine the deep, rich reds that come out yeah. of my stretch marks. Yeah. It'd be beautiful to look at. I, d- I, I just like that. I do, I do see as soon as that thing goes up on your wall, you guys almost file for a divorce. Nah. I see it completely corrupting your marriage. <laughs> You're not able to have any conversations because this thing is, it's almost like an Edgar Allan Poe poem. Yeah. It's like they're sitting there and they're like, yeah, I mean, I'll I'll be back. And you like make eye contact with you. Like, um, wait, what'd you say? She's like, you're never here anymore. You're never Bro, present. This is our movie. Yeah, there you go. This is our movie. How do you like the painting, man? Yeah, I love it. I, I check in every once yeah. in a while. Remember, one year. Yeah. yeah. One year. Hey, just see if you can It's like it. month four, whatever. Yeah. Just like totally tired yeah. or whatever. Oh, get the fuck out of here! Exactly. I can't. You did this fucking painting's tearing us apart. That'd be so great. Every time you try to throw it out or destroy it, it like you get hurt or like maimed or it just does something bad. Like yeah, yeah. you just you can't. Every time you try to take it down, I get I get in a horrible car wreck. Yes, yeah, something. You're something. killing me, Noel. <laughs> just leave it up for a year. <laughs> it was a fucking... just a fu- You have six more months. You're halfway through. Please. <laughs> you just... Did you take the painting down today? Yeah, why? Hunter just both of his legs are shattered. What? Elena calls I'm like ah, just like yeah. You guys visit me in the fucking hospital. I don't know what is happening between you two, but you need to just leave the painting alone. <laughs> Dude, this sounds so stupid, but this could be a Bloomhouse thing. Oh yeah, I'm already picturing the trailer. Yeah, it's it'd be perfect. Yeah. I mean, they, they, what would you call that? Uh, what would you call the uh, the movie? Oh, uh, would it be some like really on the nose, like 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 maybe the trailer features a lot of commentary about like the reds in the painting, and then, like the name of it's just like like dark red. No, that's always that's always the titling is always you know what like I was thinking what the portrait. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what. Yeah, exactly. The, por- the portrait. Yeah, it's always get out black phone. Mm-hmm. Like you know, yeah, yeah. Literally, yeah. Paint. We called that. The portrait, I think, is it. The portrait. Yeah. Rated R. I think that's our movie, dude. I think that'd be a great. That I want to make. I just want to make the trailer to that movie. No. Just do a quick, <laughs> do a quick cut up of that trailer. Oh, no, bro, we should. Dude, just... ju- 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 whatever you do, just please leave it. And you, there's a scene in the movie where you go and you have to try to find out how to break the curse because you simply cannot have this painting up on the wall anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking. It's it's terrible. I'm not kidding. Like. I have also, to- you you wake up one day and you notice that it smells. It smells like the the thing I was talking about. Ah, earlier. yeah, yeah. Like, this thing is just getting worse. I'm like, I know, but please just leave it up. <laughs> I just get massive holes burning in my underwear now. Yeah, exactly. What the? Yeah. Your your life is deteriorating yeah. because of <laughs> this, this fucking, fucking painting, <laughs> and it's only evolving into a worse thing. So yeah, you have to go down. You go down to some fucking flea market. There's like some fucking rap scallion, some wizards are in the movie Thinner. They that's the whole thing. Uh. You remember that movie, Stephen King? The whole thing is this big fat guy. He kills this. I can't say it, this old woman from the traveling community from the the caravan of yeah wizards. Yeah, they sit there and he kills him and he gets out of it because he's a big hotshot lawyer and he has mm-hmm. connections. And the old man comes out and he's like, and the guy is really fat and he's like. Ugh. Thinner, and no matter how much he eats, or if he just keeps losing weight till he becomes a fucking skeleton, so he has to find the care of it because they're always moving. Right, and he has to try to reverse the curse. I was going to say that's what you have to do for the painting. For the painting, so you have to fly to Germany. Yeah, talk with this guy. And he's like, "Don't worry about the paint. It doesn't matter if you scrape it off. It's already yeah. there." Yeah, I haven't painted the canvas, Mister Miller. I've painted your soul. Yep. Huh? The portrait, rated uh, NC seventeen. You're you're joking, but I, I have like four light mats. <laughs> I, I I would uh, unironically I would film a fake trailer for this, just for our show. I think that'd be funny. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really good. Come in, Mister Miller, sit down. I've been like, you, you know what we should do? We should frame it in the way where you know how they do movies. They show full movies, except it's like clip one out of ten. Yeah. So you do that. So yeah. we, the people are like, where the fuck do I watch this? Full yeah, movie dude. Yet? Yeah. Clip ten out of ten. It's you like wrestling with the fucking painting somehow. You're like, ah! 
<laughs> no, I'm just yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. I just pe- keep picturing scenes now, like having nightmares where like the paint is like dripping blood onto the wall. <laughs> and at the end, maybe uh, does the movie end with the movie has to end in a couple ways. No matter what, you have to have your own painting at the end. Yeah. Right? Oh no, dude! But it's but it's not because I don't know if it's because your soul gets trapped into painting and someone's like, "What is this?" Or if you pass on that curse to someone else, except it's a painting of you. Yep, I was gonna say that. Like, I think it's like some tussle with the painting where I try to like undo the curse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I end up in the painting. Mm. And then that's like, what it is. And then Alina has to give it to somebody. Yeah. I can't look at this anymore. Can you just hang this up on your wall for a year? Oh, oh, and and, and maybe <laughs> maybe that's the motivation where like the friend gifting it. It's like, hey, yeah, I got you something. And they're like trying to pawn it off because they know that they just went through some shit mm. and they put someone else in there. Yeah, yeah. And now it could be like a work friend. It's a uh we'll pitch this to A twenty four. Yeah. It's a film about it's a film about loss. It's a film about uh separation anxiety it's a it's also about the trials and tribulations of committing to long-term relationships kind of thing it's it has a lot of art house vibes to it the portrait yeah who's who would play you in the movie probably a um a a guy who kills gay men (laughs) see how suspicious you make yourself i know i know you're like probably a guy that kills gay dudes (laughs) And we're cutting that part out. Um, we're leaving that the fuck in. No, 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 no. We if we're le- if we keep any of my shit in because no, we can't keep that. You can't keep me in laughing at that. It's, sure you can. No, Why can't it, you? It's a it, joke. I'm gloating about my own joke. I don't like that. You can laugh at your own joke. I laugh at my own jokes all the time. That's fair. That's fair. All right, leave that it. Probably, in. I don't know if that's a positive or negative thing, but I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. I saw the fair. Mario movie yesterday. Oh, did you hate it? You know, uh, it was a four out of ten. Give it a four out of, four out of ten. Well, it's like no, visually, no. it was visually it was fine, but it's like uh, I, Seth Rogen. <sighs> four out of ten isn't hate. I feel I four feel, out of ten is like this is a child's movie versus. But granted, I sat there and I'm like, man, when I, when I walked out of Puss in Boots, yeah, you were hyped. I was about I was tap dancing. I was so happy. Whatever, Part of but it was a bad rating. Before it's a bad is, rating. For, for, sure, it's a bad rating. But I would, I would also be like, if you had kids, you'd take them to it. They'd like that. Yeah. But it's not like it doesn't have that universal adult appeal. I will say we record these. So the first episode we recorded it's like six months ago. Yeah. All right. So every time we talk about a new movie, the last episode even like Susan's not CEO anymore. That fucking joke flew out the door because people were like, the thumbnail's worthless because Susan's not even the CEO anymore. I'm like, why don't you suck my fucking cock, dude? Yeah. These people are the worst. Yeah. If you comment anything negative on these videos, I can't say a word. Say, but I was just, just know if you follow you home and murder your whole and family. you're gay, you better watch out for Noel. <laughs> he knows me, right? No, no, this is you now. This no, is you no, being no, petty. no, no. Now I'm like, oh my god. Wait oh, here. that's the next. Eight. How 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 much do you weigh? Seventy eight pounds. Nah, bro. That's the that's oh the next. God. Remember the lock the door. Remember the road rage. Noel's coming. <laughs> lock the door. Remember the road rage movie with Gerard Butler? No, you mean Russell Crowe. Or is that Russell Crowe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Same guy. That's going to be your petty like murder film. It's just going to be the comment, and it'll be you reading a negative comment. Yeah. yeah that would be something like that. Yeah. What's his fucking name? Yeah. Who's this guy named M- Monkey123? Hanging out at some cyber Whatever. goth it's like, club? It's like the little, with that fucking <laughs> PS1 game. Oh, Monkey bro, ball. Okay, we got to do that next. You go to a cyber goth club, it's like shitty ass, like Matrix vibe, and you're like, I need a hacker. I need someone who can hack. Yeah, it can do that. Yeah. He's like drinking. <laughs> has like a straw. A red glasses. Yeah. What's up? My name's Dolphin. <laughs> All leather. Red yeah. 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 <laughs> My name's Dolphin. Yeah. And that's his quirk in the movie. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I don't... Why does he do that? He got in a horrible car accident <laughs> working he's, for the CIA. He's got a crazy thing called Asperger's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't process human emotion. <laughs> so then you find the guy. And then, oh, okay, what's going to be the twist when you find out who the commenter is? Do you have to be someone kind of like... I have the gun to their fucking head. I want to pull it. Dolphins in the background like, do it, pussy. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> and surprise. Ah! I can't do it. Because it's... Your mother. Anyway, um, why? Why are you acting like you just like told the whole story that we have to cut up? You know what, dude? 
It's I, been a good episode. I say, say that. Say that. I say a, a lot. Episode. I say a lot of things that get cut out of this podcast. Yeah. Because of Noel's, because he thinks that this fan base can't handle some good storytelling. And if you guys want to have the uncensored version of this, I want you to go, to, to to tweet at Ryan, where the fuck his yeah. Twitter is. Yeah. At 43-year-old man. <laughs> at at, at twitter.com. At 43-year-old At 43-year-old man. man. At 40-year-old, yeah, virgin, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Tweet him and say, give us the uncensored yep. hunter cut. We want the hunter cut. Yeah. Because Ryan's always in the background. He's like, we can't do this. We can't do that. I'm tired of it. Ryan has silenced me for too long. And it is time for justice for me. <laughs> it's just like two fucking kids that love that love League of Legends. I want to see the Hunter Cut. I found out that you like League of Legends. I do. I can of all the fucking games, of all the games, I would not have pictured you as a league player. I've played League since 2012. Oh my god. 11 years deep and that, I'm terrible. That that, ex- terrible. that explains I'm terrible at it. Everything. I play the only games I ever play are Magic the Gathering and yeah. League of Legends. That's me as a person. Is the, are the Magic games good? I like them. Is it? Is it just like it's actual, just a like, money pit? It's just an unbelievable money pit. But is it? It's the card game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there any way to like if you collect in real life to transfer them into the game or no? It's not no, like that. No, no, no. Ma- magic. No, they're going to make you pay for everything. Always. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's never that kind of respectful like. Oh, yeah. Uh, All right, fine. You have it. You know what? No, they're looking to make some money. Yeah, ma- liking Magic the game is fine. You know, people like casinos. It's the same thing. Um, but yeah, I can't believe you're a league player. That shit is crazy. How have you been enjoying Stretch and Fate so far? I don't think t- there were. This will be what? What episode will this be? That's like six or seven. I love it, man. I don't think we have episode five recorded. I think this will be episode five. Well, sick. Um, I love it, dude. We should record next week when seems I'm home. Seems like people. Seems like people love love the show. Yeah. Well, I think they. Also- and I love our fans, and I want to have more stories to our fans. And if it's and if the story was cut today. It was. It was. <laughs> I will, I'm going to, com- I will type and paste. I will, I'm going to type a comment in the description of what the story was verbatim. And it's going to be twice as long and twice as offensive. The ball. That's even funnier. The that's, ball is in your court. I'm actually court. glad we're going to cut it and it's good. The ball is in your court, TNG. <laughs> All right. I actually like this more. <laughs> I want to see the comment, dude. Also, if you went to Noel's Kansas City show, type in the comments how you liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. I was there, and it sucked. It you should have just ate a bowl of applesauce instead. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. We'll see you soon. <laughs>